Watercraft Journal, in association with JD's Waterworld, is proud to partner with Unlimited PWC to take our Kawasaki Ultra 310 to the next level. Stay tuned for our full build series and installation tutorials only on the Watercraft Journal. So we have taken our Kawasaki Ultra 310 to the next level with unlimited PWC. And now we're rounding up our installation with our handlebar assembly from unlimited. So we've got the riser, we've got the handlebars, we've got the unlimited grips, and we're gonna get this full package installed. So the first step is you have all these four millimeter Allens holding the stock handlebar assembly together. So you're gonna go through and remove each of those. We're gonna go ahead and get them all out and literally this just pops apart. And you can see once you get these unbolted, the shroud will come apart pretty easily. You've got this styrofoam pad in there and you wanna get these two Allens out holding the immobilizer in place. We do have an immobilizer relocator bracket. So to pop these rivets out, you're gonna put your hand behind and you're gonna pull like that. And you can see that they pop right out. Now that's exposed our entire handlebar assembly here. Here's the wire harness. There's our immobilizer. Once you pop those rivets out, you can see that that comes out of the way. Using a good quality Phillips screwdriver, we're next gonna go ahead and loosen the three Phillips screws here that hold the left side handlebar assembly in place. The process is very similar for your throttle trigger on the right. Okay, so we've got our controls out of the way. You know, these are clamshells. They come apart in two pieces. The next thing we're gonna do is remove these four bolts right here, holding the stock riser in place. That's gonna allow us to remove it from the ski. Okay, so you've got our all four bolts removed, and now the stock assembly can be removed right from the ski, just like this. This is the unlimited PWC riser. You can see I've got the first two bolts in. You can see they're still loose. I'm gonna get all four in before I tighten them. So the other two here, make sure to apply a dab of blue Loctite to each of these before you put them in. And once you get all four of those in place, we're gonna go through and tighten them up. So now that that's tightened, we're gonna take a look at our handlebar mount right here. You can see I've already got this one out. You're gonna be using six millimeter Allen for those. And here's our unlimited PWC handlebar assembly. That's gonna go in place right like this. All right, so once you tighten these six millimeter Allens right here, you'll have your unlimited PWC handlebars in place. So you can see how clean that install is. You've got all these wires here and then you've got the immobilizer that's gonna be relocated inside the compartment here. So that actually is gonna go in here right next to your USB charging port right there. So now we have our handlebar pad right here. So that's gonna go in place right there, real easy. Just pull up this Velcro and get it in place. So there is our handlebar pad in place. The most difficult part about this process is you gotta drill out these handlebars to fit your controls in place. And now we're just test fitting our unlimited PWC logo grips. So once those grips are in place, we're gonna make sure to tighten these Allens here with an Allen wrench. And then, you know, there's been, if you ride really aggressively, these grips can slide off of the handlebars. So to solve that, Unlimited PWC has these really cool end caps. These go in like this, and then when you tighten those, they expand and prevent those grips from coming off. So now we've got our Unlimited grip in place where we want it. We're gonna go ahead and get this control assembly in place. So make sure you've got your hole carefully marked. Verify a couple times that that's the right location because if not, you'll have an issue. Make sure that this box is in place to collect any metal shavings. And we're gonna start with a pilot hole and then we're gonna expand that. All right, let's do it. All right, so we've drilled a small pilot hole and now we're going to step that up to a 7.30 seconds size hole. All right, so now our hole is drilled. You can see that we've test fit 
our control pod in place. We've got a good fit. We're just gonna tighten that up. And so this is a little more complicated because we have our throttle trigger and our KSRD trigger. Now on this side, you can see that we have a little peg on the front part. So we're gonna fit that right there. But before we do that, you wanna make sure that the angle is adjusted to your comfort. And then you can see that this new KSRD trigger has a big open space right there where it originally abutted against the stock handlebar assembly. So Unlimited has sent us a green billet lock-off plate that'll fit just like that. And we'll cover up that open space there. All right, so we've got our hole drilled and now it's time to get our handlebar pods in place. And then we're gonna attach this little block off plate to the KSRD trigger. All right, so there is our KSRD trigger and throttle in place. You can see we've got our green billet block off plate. Next step is to sort out our wire harness here. You can see everything's got this clear sheath over it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use a razor blade to cut this clear sheath away being extremely careful not to nick any of the wires here. So I just use a razor blade like this to go ahead and slice this clear plastic sheathing. We're gonna have to pop the hood and then we're gonna open the panel that's located just inside the compartment. So once you remove the access door, that's right on the back here, it's got push rivets holding it in. That clip right there is the clip that goes directly to the immobilizer. So, and then this one here, this blue clip, that is your buzzer. So you're gonna disconnect both of those and pull them through. So this is your buzzer assembly right here. We're gonna zip tie this up and roll. We're gonna put our buzzer in the compartment right there. We'll still be able to hear it. So I wanna take a moment to show you the junction where the wire harness comes through to the handlebar assembly. So down there, you can see there's that rubber plug. There's this small stainless steel bracket holding that in place with two 10 millimeter bolts. You need to remove both those 10 millimeter bolts. You need to take that bracket, lift that bracket up. And then this little rubber plug here makes it really easy. You could slide wires out. And then you're gonna pull the plug right through, just like that. We're gonna have to pop a few shrouds off in order to move this plastic assembly out to get that case out. I'm gonna show you how to reroute the wire for the immobilizer and how to cut that plastic. So again, you might find it easier to remove this when the handlebars are off of the ski but it can be done either way. Once you go through and remove all of these 10 millimeter bolts that hold the shroud in place, you're then gonna use a tool like this to pop out these rivets. So the next step is to remove the foam case here. To do that, you're gonna get the cover off. You just push that in and the plastic will bend a little bit and allow you to pull that out. Now in the bottom of this compartment, there usually will be a little styrofoam liner. Once you pop that out, you have two nuts that need to be removed. All right, so we've removed our storage case from the ski. I've got an aftermarket USB charger because I got my ski before they came out with the OEM accessory one, so it looks a little different. So the next step is we have a template from Unlimited PwC. We're gonna go ahead and put that on here and cut it out to fit the immobilizer bracket. Okay, so here's our immobilizer assembly. Here's our six pin plug that I showed you earlier. This is gonna be fed right through this hole right here right like that. We're now gonna be able to go back around to the front and we're gonna reconnect the immobilizer. So Unlimited has provided us with this template here. We're gonna go and cut this out and then that's gonna fit right in the compartment like that. And we're gonna drill out these two holes and then we're gonna use an oscillating multi-tool to cut out this square for the immobilizer assembly. So now we can remove our template. All right, so there are our mounting screws. You can see we've got these little plastic bushings that were included with the kit. So your face plate's gonna go on just like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up our immobilizer and we're gonna tighten it in place. And there's a look at the unlimited PWC immobilizer relocation plate. 
Our glove box is now gonna go back in place right here. To do that, we're gonna get on top of the ski and we're gonna lift up, this is still loose, so we're just gonna lift that up and push this back down in. So there's our glove box back in place. Now, I've had this out a couple times, so I know how to do it. If you have never had this glove box out, never taken the ski apart like this, you might fight with it a little bit. Let's get everything bolted back together. And then our installation of the unlimited PWC grips, end caps, handlebar, and riser will be complete. You're now ready to reattach your cover. So now our immobilizer install is complete. So how you put these wires on is really up to you. You can see I've got some smaller zip ties holding the harness together and then I've got some larger zip ties attaching it to the handle. And then I've got a piece of expandable three quarter inch sheathing that looks just like this, right at the junction where all those wires come together. And then I've got that zip tied as well. We've got our temp sensor right there. You just want that to be able to detect the ambient air so that that's accurate. So I put that right there and zip tied that all in this harness here. And I've got everything cleaned up. Make sure there's no binding. You can see this was designed as a little extra space on the right side. So that's where your harness should go. And then the through hull fitting right at the top here has two 10 millimeter bolts and a little rubber stopper. You can see that bolt right there. Make sure that that is tight. So can't wait to get out on the water and give this all a try. All right, let's go. handlebar and riser package allows for more precise steering input, giving riders a much improved feel. Relocating the immobilizer key to the glove box provides peace of mind that the key won't get lost or damaged while riding. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Watercraft Journal as we take our Kawasaki Ultra 310 LXS to the next level with unlimited PWC. Stay tuned for our next episode where we take a look at the full billet X Sponsons for the Kawasaki Ultra 160 and 310, only on the Watercraft Journal.